now let's discuss the concept of masking in case of numpy arrays okay okay so the term masking actually comes from like to my mind it actually comes from the networking side where the concept masking involves filtering out something okay on the basis of the criteria we decide what to keep what not to keep okay that's filtering is what masking means okay for example let's first talk about in 1d numpy arrays okay suppose i have 8 4 2 uh, let's make it 9 okay and if i simply do a1 equals to np dot array a okay let's have a1 okay now suppose i want to create a numpy array making sure that i only store the even elements from the original numpy array how i can actually do is i can use the concept of masking so if you think about it it is very similar to one of the concepts i have taught you in the python chapter in the in the python course which was filtering in case of functional programming nap filter reduce we have studied this right so filter was acting very similar to the concept of masking okay so basically first let me give you an idea so what happens is what happens is if you create a list okay if you create a list of true and false okay uh, let's say i'm just giving you the background idea about what masking is okay so let's say uh binary something binary equals to true false 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 true just understand the concept okay i'll tell you everything will make sense okay and and if i give this inside the array okay so if i do a1 of binary so basically a1 of this list of true and false okay what happens is it returns me a numpy array filtering out only those index values where this boolean value is true simple same as the concept of filter okay where you are filtering out only that data which is having this masking as true okay so in in short you have to imagine you have to imagine masking as doing this you have to imagine masking as doing this okay so why you are getting four and two because you are only having true at first index and last index so that's why if if i make this if i copy this and if i make let's say this as true so you will also get this eight you will also get this eight okay so if you think about it have i actually done a code that i was talking about which is to have only the even elements from the original numpy array yes okay now let me tell you you can store this in some numpy array b okay so that your a1 is not impacted okay so b is going to give you 482 but your a1 will remain intact unchanged okay see now we don't write like this in industry okay this is just for explanation purpose so how do we write this in industry let me tell you so this is your a1 now if you remember in the very first lecture i told you that you can perform element wise operations in numpy arrays okay so if you do a1 greater than let's say uh so for now a1 mod 2 equals to equals to 0 okay so this is this is a numpy array instead of a number and you are performing mod 2 equals to equals to 0 operation over it so if i run this if i run this what you get is true false true false true are, are you getting it so it is saying mod 2 equals to equals to 0 is true for first element false for second element and so on fascinating right but you are just writing list uh, numpy array name here you are not writing every element in a loop that's not those days are gone those days are gone in your python days right both are useful but here we are talking about numpy okay so now i will merge these two concepts okay i want to give this numpy array as 
index to my original numpy array which was a1 so let's say b equals to a1 and in bracket to get this i can simply copy this code initially it can get a bit overwhelming but with time you will be pro at it okay you will be really really pro at it okay so now if you print b my dear friends you get the answer that you're looking for okay so this is a simple code to create a numpy array storing only the even elements of the original numpy array suppose i copy this okay and if i put one here what will i get correct a numpy array b storing only the odd elements of the original numpy array and you can just play around with this okay for example if i copy this and if i put a condition here if i put a condition here a1 greater than b okay uh, first let me print a1 huh. so if i put a condition let's say a1 greater than 4 so it will only now create a numpy array which satisfies this criteria a1 greater than 4 7 8 9 4 and 2 got filtered out and the sequence is also maintained 789 okay so you are actually writing a condition where you used to put index in python i know you have traveled a very very long way congrats on that so just play around with this try to write your own conditions okay try to filter out negative numbers positive numbers and all those things i hope this was useful see you in the next session thank you